Hello, my name is Michael Paye. I'm a representative of Geo Bikes, and this is the 60 second inspection for this 2013 Geo MG 500 Plus. Now, the first thing you want to do in the 60 second inspection is test your tire pressure. Now, I do this with almost every scooter except for scooters that are tubeless. When it's a tubeless tire, you don't want any air to release whatsoever. You don't want that bead to break off of the rim at all. So, normally, I would use a tire pressure gauge like this. Make sure that the pressure is between 30 to 40 PSI. Once again, because these are tubeless, all I'm going to do is give it a pinch with my hand. It is rock solid, so I'm not even going to bother. When you put this on, you do lose a little bit of air, so that is the reason that I do not touch tubeless tires. Next thing you check in the 60 second inspection is your mirrors. You want to make sure that your mirrors are nice and tight. Both of these ones are tight. If in the event you did need to tighten them, you remove this rubber cap, use your 6 millimeter Allen key, tighten it up, line it up with your, with your hand grip, tighten it up and replace the rubber seal to keep water out of there. And that's how you would make sure that they are tight. Alright, so next thing you do in the 60 second inspection is you test your brakes. So, you lean your scooter back, give it a good spin, pinch your right hand brake. As you can see, it stops nicely, so that brake is nice and tight. Now for the back brake, turn your throttle, make sure your scooter is on, turn your throttle, and you hit your left brake. So the next thing you do in the 60 second inspection is you test your headlights and your turning signals. So on this particular model, all the way over here is off. In the middle means your low headlight beam is on. All the way over means your high beam headlight is on. Then you're going to use this knob over here, push it to the left for your left turning signals, push it to the right for your right turning signals. Alright, so then the next thing you do from there is you test your axle to make sure that it is tight. When you're riding on your scooter, you don't want this to come loose. Uh, it could unthread itself and come off and you don't want that to happen. So this axle is very tight on there with its nut and bolt. Uh, check the same thing on the back. Once those are nice and securely tightened, you know that you're safe.